Hi, this is Dr. Kate Utek with New Journey Physical Therapy here to do a quick video about poop. So poop is one of those things that pelvic floor physical therapists talk about on a regular basis. It's not something to be embarrassed about, just like any of the topics I talk about are. So I want to talk about a tool called the Bristol Stool Scale, which can really be a very simple way to just assess your bowel health and see how you're doing. So if I make myself little so you can see, this is just a series of images that help you to get a sense you just compare to the stool, the poop that you have that day, and get a sense of where you fall on the scale. As you can see, types three and four are considered normal. Four is ideal, and three is fine. It's just a little bit less hydrated. It means that you're a little bit less hydrated, but they're both normal, okay? I love that this image has the pictures and then a description to give you a sense of what that picture is supposed to mean because sometimes it can be a little hard to tell. Types one and two, as you can see, are both forms of constipation. Type two being a lumpy sausage and type one being hard separate lumps. You can also be constipated and have soft, softer stool, but these are signs that you are constipated even if you are having a regular bowel movement. If your stool suddenly shifts from being hard lumps or not having bowel movements at all to what seems like normal type 4 stool, then you should get in and see a GI specialist for further up work, uh, further look because you may actually be very constipated at that point and softer stool may be getting around. But if you are in this harder range and you slowly improve to a more normal, healthy stool, then you may have resolved that. And that's what I want to help you be able to do if you are constipated. Um, other, some things that you want to look at that I'll do videos about are fiber intake. So looking at in, upping your insoluble fiber, uppering your water intake, improving your pelvic floor muscle relaxation, and using better body mechanics in having your bowel movements. Now to talk about these softer stools, you can see soft blobs with clear cut edges. So separate pieces, just not quite stuck together enough to be one continuous sausage. Or you have that mushy consistency that just comes out and then kind of mixes with the water. And then our true diarrhea, the total liquid that typically is seen when you're really sick. So um, one common thing that can be causing some of these things down in the softer range is lacking soluble fiber. Um, which binds our stool together. And um, so that's, that's one really common thing. And also the colon massage that I'll go over in a video is going to help with all of these issues um, to just bring you to the middle. So those are some, that's sort of the description here. This is a simple tool to give you, get you started and get you a sense of, hey, how am I really doing? I think that I'm doing well. I think that I'm healthy, but am I right? Am I really as health healthy as I think? So if you are right in that normal range, great, keep doing what you're doing. If not, pay attention, look, keep an eye out for some videos coming up in the next few days. And I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for watching.